Welcome to part four of our virtual orientation. And this is just a quick reminder on the things you'll need to do for onboarding. Most of you should have completed your CY resource onboarding tasks already. Thank you for that. If you just confirmed, you should get an email from CY resource. It's through Workday. Um, please complete that as soon as you can. There are additional um, instructions and steps located on the website if you need those. Um, most of you right now should have received your background check email from Victoria at CY Background Check. So please start working on that as soon as possible. And if you have any questions about fingerprinting or anything like that, just reach out. So um, here's some important information regarding registration. Just as a reminder, you will need to be here in person for our registration dates, which are um, July 13th and 14th. Um, you'll probably be here either or either Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then this year we are engaging in a part virtual, but also part in person. So there are some essential components that go with the registration process that we will need you to be in here for. But you can also expect that some of it will be done virtually. Um, we are going to be sure to take the proper social distancing measures and provide you with proper PPE for the in-person component. So we'll have masks, um, hand sanitizer, et cetera. Um, but do keep an eye out for an email that has critical information as it comes out. We really wanna thank you for your patience during this time because we are learning a lot as we've never had to adjust our model in this way. And there are some things that we just don't know, but as decisions are made, we will inform you accordingly. The most important thing to communicate right now is that school will be in session next year and students will still need our support um, much more than in the past yeah, probably definitely. so we we are still serving americorps is supporting all americorps programs so you will get paid we will be in service supporting students it just might look a little bit different than it traditionally has so as we know how schools are making that determination, we'll keep you updated. It's likely that it will be part in-person instruction and part virtual instruction. Perhaps different grades will go into the school building on different days. Um, and so you'll have some days where you're there in person and other days will be virtual. Mm -hmm. um, we can't say that for sure yet, but we'll keep you informed and we do we do need your service more than ever before and our students do too yep the most important thing for registration um, will be that in-person part where you bring your important documents um, to demonstrate that you're eligible to serve with americorps so if you haven't already located these you should do that immediately as they do take some time to replace if you do need replacements of a social security card or birth certificate there are um, resources on the website where you can go order those so check out the confirm core website and do that asap um, the three things that you must bring to in-person registration are a government issued photo id like a driver's license um, that could also be a passport your social security card, and then either a birth certificate or a passport. Um, and these do need to be originals, so we can't take a copy of your social security card, for instance. Um, there are some other documents that work for this, so the full list has been shared um, in Slack on the website. If you have, haven't found it, let me know, um, and all the documents are there, but these are the most common ones that people bring. So. Please look for those right now. Um, please complete the survey attached to this virtual orientation by June 4th so that we can hopefully get you your region by June 5th. And just to reiterate, um, the background check and fingerprinting is really important right now. So please get that done as soon as you can. And then if you do have any um, questions, you can definitely reach out to me, but that Confirm Core website is the best place for information. And you can follow us on social media, City or Denver, Brenna underscore CY, and any other schools that you want to. Um, and 
we do recognize that since you haven't met a lot of us, it can be difficult to keep track of who's who. So just to recap, um, you can always reach out to me, Brenna, your admissions manager for questions. You will be hearing from Brittany Ann. Um, she'll be communicating with you as well. So if she emails you, you'll see that. And then you're also going to hear from your impact buddy. So that's a staff member from City or Denver. They're impact managers, people that will be your supervisors and bosses next semester. And they'll be reaching out um, to check in on how you're doing, um, any questions you have. So you can ask them about Denver, about City Year, about anything you're wondering. Um, please do reply back to them. Even if you don't have questions right now, it's really important that they know that you got their message. So definitely reply back. And they are different. Um, some of you might have heard from core members in the past. You can still stay in touch with them as much as you like, but your impact manager buddy is uh, different than your core member buddy. And will likely be a little more in tune with the information that you might need and be able to answer the questions you might have. Yeah, so please stay in touch with that impact manager buddy once you hear from them. This is a Confirm Core website. It's in the Slack group, it's been emailed, but we wanted to make sure you have access. Um, that's my Instagram. Then we did start this presentation with a PITW, which is putting idealism to work. So we're going to end it that way as well. Um, PITW number 112, city year is not what you think it is. This is not meant to sound arrogant. It's just that on first contact, city year often isn't what people think it is. This is probably because it's trying to do many different things at once and it's struggling to do things in new ways. The main thing to keep in mind is that we can all keep discovering what city year is about and we should never be too surprised to learn something fundamentally new about the work that we are all doing. We end on this every year, but I think this year, more yeah. than ever, um, this, this is really important to keep in mind because we're all going to be learning new ways to yeah. support our students, families, schools, and communities. Um, and so that means your service will be very unique. Um, our service is meant to support our students' holistic needs, and we may be adapting to do that this year. So. Um, your service is more important than ever. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, here's my contact information. I think you already have it, but definitely stay in touch and let us know what questions you have. Yeah, and um, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we are looking so forward to meeting you in person um, in a safe way. And um, don't forget to do that survey. That's really important. Close on that. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.